Hi everyone, it's Dark Art Pro back from the holidays. Yes, Merry Christmas. That's gone. Happy New Year. Whee! Yeah, so superb. Hope everyone had a lovely time. I had lots of Maltesers, Toblerones. Mate had seven Christmas dinners. Can you believe that? That's epic, isn't it? Serious Christmas going on there. Um, so yeah, I've been desperate to get back in the studio. So I'm back in the studio on this sort of wet and windy day up north. And uh, I thought to talk about our next project. But before I do that, I just want to thank everyone who's actually started to tune in this channel. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, I thought I'd, I might get one or two people, but I've got over 100 now. I mean, that's like stardom, isn't it? No, not really. Yeah, I'm not bothered either. I'll do these videos for you anyway, so it's kind of cool. And I've had some lovely comments and lovely sort of feedback. So, yeah, keep those coming. I, 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 I appreciate it. I like, I like it, uh, to have a community feel about art. And I'm really pleased that other people are so passionate about their art and airbrushing as I am. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much and you never know we might get some more who knows they might follow us and then we become this massive cult and take over the world maybe not okay so i've been thinking about what projects to do um as when i was talking about venom i was thinking about the stormtrooper and i thought well no i'm not really in the mood for that i need to really figure out what i want to do with it um i've got a vw side panel that i need to do but i need some few more um, materials for it and a few more little ideas before i start tackling that because that's that needs to be spot on because it's going to be awesome um, so in the meantime we need to keep our skills up like we always have to do good keep practicing so love sci-fi love horror what's the best thing about sci-fi horror I'll tell you what the best thing is alien yes we're gonna do alien warrior side profile of alien warrior can't wait really looking forward to this um, and I thought what I'll do is actually go through before we do actually start airbrushing the area let's, let's talk about how I uh, prepare for it and how I um, map it out on my chosen canvas which is a dye bond which is like a used in signs I think I've mentioned it before but I'm going through it again you can um, buy this online like eBay I think I've got a huge piece behind now and I just cut it up but you can get it in A4 sections A3 I think they cut it for you it's probably better than my raggedy cut in there but it doesn't matter it's one of those isn't it? so inside you've got like a plastic composite there you go and then on the edges it's just metal like a thin piece of metal it's kind of cladded I guess um, yeah so I've used that I'm happy with that I've tried different sort of canvases and it doesn't really work for me and I work on metal on cars so it just keeps me keeps me in with my chosen method and preferred canvas um, and I work with a candies and I work with 2k clear coat so I can do everything I can do on here I can do on a car so that's kind of cool put over here um, the bread and butter most um, uh, airbrushing is masking stuff making sure you've got what you want in the right place now this is not tracing it's not copying it's called mapping out and mapping out areas so on venom for instance um, when I map this out the only piece I brought across was the teeth and I, these sharp edges we want those crisp edges uh, that's what we need to do is actually map out and use like a, a mapping sort of uh, product which I'll talk about in a second so yeah so these sharp edges are achieved by that same with the teeth everything else in the middle is freehand it's all freehand and that's me just doing my artwork um, so everyone says there's a process to everything now if you don't like the process that's up to you and uh, so masking can be used in different ways I, I, when I first started I used paper but it's bled through you have to stick it on utter nightmare but you can do it you know it gets you started if you can't afford anything paper's fine I'll show you how to do it at some point and, it, and it's really cool you can lift certain sections and get nice little crisp lines um, yeah so yeah you, you, you know you don't have to spend a lot of money to start actually mapping out stuff and, and getting that lovely sort of anatomy base that you want to start off with um, or oh, correct proportions is probably the word yeah so I use um, I've used many different types of mapping sort of masking sort of materials um, you can buy things like frisket film which I, 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 I can't get on with. I've tried it. It's just it's just super sticky. It's a bit cheaper and and, uh, and and you can I've ruined many artwork with it. To be fair, stuck to something else and it's ripped all my artwork. Like, oh no! So I was looking for something decent on there and I, and I looked. Uh, I went online. I get lots of stuff from aircraftnet.com, and they have a, a product called Art Tool Ultra Masking, and this is this stuff. It's all, it's solvent proof. Um, comes in different length rolls I guess this is kind of is it A4, A4 width but it has I don't know, it's about a couple of meters on the roll I'm near the end of it now 
um, really forgiving sticks well to the surface um, it can put it on paint it won't take the paint off I think it would if you if it was quite wet that yeah would take it off yeah so you, you'd leave it for a few minutes before you even attempt to put it back on um, it's solvent proof which is nice you can clean it uh, and it and it just keeps re-sticking yeah so it's really cool so it pull, peels away there oh, it's quite it's quite cool stuff yeah so I, I, I would recommend it art all ultra masking awesome I can hear the rain outside now yeah so we're going to do an alien warrior um, I'm going to put it a side profile on here and the way I do that is I'm just going to go through it quickly uh, is there's the image I don't know if you can see it there it's kind of a bit of an image of the alien warrior and what I want to do is map out the key areas I just want the teeth the edge of the head the chin the outline of the body shape and some key sections maybe this this big spine sort of like a bone section here that's about it um, maybe a little bit of the sinew not much and then we transfer those basic images <coughs> excuse me across this die bond now I use technology um, I've tried different methods it doesn't matter but I kind of get on with this technology the great thing about a, a tablet is you can zoom in you can get the size you want you can move it where you want um, gives you a bit more proportion um, so yeah I I am um, totally would recommend this so what I tend to do is I'm going to do this quick look I'm not going to do a time-lapse thing so you'll have a billion time-lapse things on on YouTube and it kind of be a bit boring keep this section that pops over there and this mask goes onto the image like so Oh, I've stuck to everything. This is live sticky stuff. The good thing about having that on a screen is that you can you can zoom in if you want it. You, how big you want the image, it's totally up to you. Now I'm happy with that. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. And then I've got a permanent sort of um fine marker. And I go over the key areas. I don't know if you can see this, I hope you can. So I'm just going to show you here. I'll do some key sections. I'm not going to do it all just because it won't be very exciting. I'm just going to give you a pure method of what I'm doing. So yeah, there's the kind of edge of the head you can see there. So I'm not going to any detail really, I'm just going around the edges. Can you see that? I hope so. There you, go. you can see a dark line. I'm just going over the edges. All around the corners, just to give me key areas. If it was a portrait, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And there's the chin coming down like that. And like I say, with an alien, or it doesn't have to be actually perfect. You can see there. So I'm just sort of. But like I say, I'm not going to go full on with this now because it is something that can take time well will not take your time I want to do certain bits in certain bits completely right uh, like this section here just gives me an idea where stuff is because it's about freestyle it's about how how we interpret an image so show you that quickly I then would I'll tell you what I'll do I'm going to take this off here on the dive bond it's a bit like Blue Peter, just the bit next bit. So with the dye bond, super shiny at first, nice and glossy, so we have to take that down. I won't do it straight away, and the way we do that, I've got this little uh, like scuff pads, we can use some um, wet dry paper, whatever you want. All you're doing is scuffing up so we can get some addition with the paint. Um, like so, yeah, blah blah blah. There we go. Because I'm not transferring the image, I'm not too worried. I'm just going to show you this quickly. All that does is put fine scratches on there. I don't know if you can see it. So that gives me, gives the paint something to key to. That's right. We want it to stick. We don't want it to slide off. Yeah. So I will clean that at another point. I'll do it with some solvent maybe, or some uh, panel wipe or something like that. Just get it all the fingerprints off, all the clear off. And then once I've sort of mapped out the key areas on Alien, I would take this off. 
oh can you see there we go and then I kind of would place it where I want the composition to be see I've not done a full so if I just put it on there for a second there we go I'm not doing the full thing because I don't think it's it's good telly <laughs> that looks terrible doesn't it but you can see what I mean so I can be able to I can re stick let me do this again I don't like it there I don't want it there I want his face more tilted I can re-stick it down here get the composition where I want it there you go boom okay so then once I'm happy with that composition of where I want it I'll stick it back on again just to show you quickly once I'm happy with that I would push I'd, I'd stick this completely down properly then the next phase I would do is using a scalpel or a, a, a really sharp knife um, or a craft knife I suppose that would do. I've had different types to be fair but you know anything that's got a really nice fine edge I then would cut out the key areas. I think what I'll do is um, do another video and show you doing that. Once I've mapped out on here I'll do a video of me cutting it out and you can see what bits I leave and what bits I don't and what I do with those other pieces. But like I say, it's a, just a basic outline. There's no detail really at all. It's just about where I want this composition. After that, we go like Venom, we start getting into it, and we start getting into this area here, and we'll just go freestyle. Um, but it gives you that it gives you that guide, and it gives you those lovely crisp professional edges, which, which is what we want, you know. And then your artwork is, gets elevated even further. Um, it's not tracing, it's not uh, transferring it completely, but it just gives you that, that sort of um, guide of where you want to go next with your art. Yeah, so that's that's how I sort of transfer it across. I hope that kind of makes sense. Let me take this off here again. So I need to do some more. I'll pop that back on here. Um, but like I say, I don't want to sit here, do that for hours, <laughs> well not hours, for ages. Um, which can take a long time to do so I'm not going to do that and I'm not going to do time lapse because they're kind of annoying so once I've done this I will show you I'll do a brief video of how I kind of cut it onto onto here then I'll show you me, me just mapping it out and then we'll go from there and then we'll continue doing the image like we did with Venom and we'll just airbrush and enjoy it and hopefully it's going to be absolutely mint. Now, I don't know what colour I might do. I might do a sort of a... Oh, I don't know. We could go for like a blue, like a dark... I don't know. I don't know. Um, for, I have got some other... Or like a, a yellow candy or... Oh, I don't know. I need to think. But um, tune in and hopefully we'll get a great result. Now I hope that makes sense. If I babbled on, I'm sorry, but it's just a brief one, really, just a brief um, overview of how I can sometimes transfer images onto something else. Now, when it's on a car or on a bonnet, I use a similar technique, but I'll probably use uh, bigger areas. Um, I have before just go straight freehand, um, which is kind of risky sometimes, but I like the crisp edges that I get, and then. I go for the detail after so yeah I hope this isn't too boring <laughs> <laughs> um, look forward to doing some airbrushing uh, on this project as soon as I can so I will continue with this I'll get it prepared and then we'll we'll get into alien alien covenant thank you again for tuning I really appreciate it thank you everyone for watching um, I hope you have a lovely day and uh, stay tuned for some more more artwork and uh, let's move this project forward all right thanks so much love you all cheers nice one love airbrushing dark art pro follow me on instagram and facebook if you fancy it totally up to you see you later guys bye